Hello, teacher Jackie here with my report on VIP Kid. This is June 12th, 2021. And you may or may not know, but I was hired with them in 2018. I know. So this is over three years. I have been with this fabulous company. I do. I absolutely love and adore VIP Kid as a company, as a service, and as a great income. So what's happened? Okay, so I just signed my sixth contract. I have ordered my hoodie. It's at my house. I travel, so I'm not there yet. I'll catch up to it next month. <laughs> I'll do a video on that, the reveal. It doesn't fit because of sizing and things like that. But I'm very happy. I'm very happy and I can't wait. But what happened? What happened? What happened? Oh no. <laughs> well, in March, April, there was a spring break for our school and my family traveled and then we came back. So it took off two weeks. So I didn't have to worry. In the past, I have taught traveling and I've done videos on those. And recently I have kind of rebranded my whole uh, channel to be non- specific to a company and I wanted to um, take down those videos because guess what all these companies are fluid and changing so fast that if you went to any of those videos you'd be like that's not the hiring process that's not the demo that's not how I experienced so it's really ever-changing and I now need to make my videos more generic that way so after you get into VIP kid or if you don't know how to get into VIP kid I would love to give you my link and we can you know, work together and I can encourage you. I will say one thing about all the companies that are the same. The application process is the hardest part of it all, okay? It is the hardest part of it all. It is grueling, it's got paperwork, it's got screen, you know, what pictures you need and videos you need and lots of practice and you gotta get your um, props ready and you've got to practice each individual company's methodology or points to make. I'm looking at my, my notes. I've been recently doing some myself. So here's notes for that company and this company and this company, and you got to keep it all figured out. They're different. They're unique. And that's good. That's actually a good thing. All right. As an independent contractor, remember, you are not an employee, you have that liberty to work for all these different companies. So Dino and I are still best friends. We are BFFs for the longest, and I cannot wait to start these other ideas and ideas, <laughs> these other opportunities. So here I am in my sixth contract, doing great, but my two weeks that I took off for spring break became two months. <laughs> what happened? Well. Our brick and mortar school was online because of, you know, regulations and policies and things. But for quarter four, it went back to brick and mortar. My children, myself, went back to the classroom per se or office, whatever you will, on, on campus. And I just couldn't. I just couldn't. You know, I mean, life post 2020 is very different. Our sleep patterns are different. Our clothing, you know, is different. We went from pajamas to now I gotta get dressed again, <laughs> at least publicly presentable. So anyway, I just took those two months off for mental health, emotional health. Um, VIP kid did nothing wrong to me, okay? I just took off two months because I'm not good anymore. I'm not getting any younger <laughs> and uh, knocking on uh, a, a milestone birthday door really, really soon, a couple of years here. Anyway, so. That two months, the, what happened was my regulars that I've had for years get pushed to other teachers. Of course, they needed class. I mean, I'm not there, so it makes sense. I'm not mad. It's not a big deal. The good thing is I do have WeChat on my phone, and I was able to tell them, hey, I'm back. I've opened up classes. Can't wait to see you back. Well, most have come back. There's one that hasn't. Super bummed. That's okay. I get it. The other thing is they've come back, but they're only taking one class a week. I don't, I need more. I need more of this, right? So 
that's why I've interviewed at other companies and that I have these other opportunities. And it's beautiful. You know, it's a great industry. It's growing. It's booming. Companies are evolving and changing. So it has nothing to do with this company. That why my bookings went down. People have their theories and have their ideas and maybe they're even facts. But for me personally, I've never had an issue with bookings. Lots of teachers have, even veteran teachers and new teachers and so forth. I have been very blessed and haven't had an issue. So because I took those months off, I'm pretty sure that was my thing. I have a new cursor and I'll do a video on that later. I was trying to find it. Okay. If you have any questions about VIP Kit, ask me. If you don't want to ask me, then keep searching on YouTube. <laughs> Otherwise, use my link. I will be happy to help you through the interview process. I don't know all the details of the current process, but I do know this. Whatever company you pick, the application process is a pain. It's stressful. You'll want to quit every single time I've done it. I remember VIP Kid back in 2018, doing the application, going, whoa, this is easy. Doing the video, going, well, that was something different and new. All right, I'm done. And then I had to do something else. Oh, then I had to do the in-person thing with the, you, you interview with a teacher one-on-one. -on -one. They pretend to be a five-year-old who does or doesn't know some English and it's odd, awkward, but get past it. And then it's like, I practiced and practiced and practiced and practiced and practiced for it. Then I get to it and I miss it or I didn't do the right timing and I just, mm. and then I had to do it again with that feedback on that teacher. Well, this teacher was really strict and mean. And picky, but this teacher wasn't. So I just, I really wanted to quit. <laughs> I remember, I actually remember plopping on the bed. You're old enough to know what a nesty plunge is. <laughs> I did that and I was just like, forget it. I have all these things printed out, cut out. I have actually, these are my new, well, not new, but I purchased those and I have my old one somewhere. It's my original. There we go. This is my original printout from the internet cut it out, throw them on a popsicle stick or tongue depressor, and then I bought these. You know what I'm saying? I just, it's not my thing. I don't do that. I don't print out pictures and cut them out and tape them to popsicle sticks. It's just not my thing. And I, you know, went out of my box to do all this. And it was just oh, so stressful. So my, thankfully, my family didn't say anything. They didn't say quit. They didn't say, you know, keep going. They didn't just let me be. And I got hired at VIP Kid and I, loved it. I have paid for dental procedures not covered by insurance. We've helped buy furniture for our house. We've helped uh, kids sports, kids music, other activities, movies, eating out, ordering out, you know, things that aren't really normally in the budget. So it's been a nice gig. It's been very good actually. But I need more money. So VIP kid right now, June 2021, I still get booked three days a week with my regulars. I'm happy. I just want a little bit, a few more classes. So the other um, days of the week, I'm going to fill it with other companies bookings and see how it goes with the money. Uh, VIP kid, I get paid weekly. The other companies monthly. Whew, that's a little different. <laughs> Thankfully, this is side income and again, much needed. I want to get some debt paid off and continue to have fun. All right. Well, if you have any questions, let me know. Sorry, I'm shaking my desk. <laughs> Bye.